I'm going to show you an example here of um, two individuals and one's winning and one is not. Okay? Take a close look at this. Okay? Now there is A and here's B. Let's take a look at how A is living their life. No understanding of law of vibration, goals, or anything else. They both have the ability to choose, and they both have infinite potential. Now, this could be you and the person next door. Now, here's where A goes. Goes nowhere. Drops back and forth, ends up in a mediocre life. Where B is moving on to prosperity, satisfaction, happiness, continuous growth. Look at, both started out evenly with the same talent and abilities. Both are not involved in the same activities <clears throat> or going in the same direction. A is being controlled by their paradigm. B is controlling their paradigm. There's a big difference here. But you have to ask yourself, what is the difference? Well, B has a goal and believes it will manifest. There's the difference. A is caught up, like Robert Heinlein said, in daily trivia until ultimately they're enslaved by it. A has a paradigm problem. B doesn't. B knows where they're going. Now, when you look at this, you have to ask, why is this happening like that? Well, you know, Alvin Toffler wrote Future Shock. He said something here well, around the beginning of the 21st century. He said the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. And of course, that's what we're doing here in this master class. We're learning, we're unlearning, and we're relearning. And that's going to go on for the rest of your life. You see the speed we're moving at. You see how the world is changing, and it's changing every day. And it's not, the change, rate of change is not slowing down. I think Toffler has nailed it. Now, most people, as we know, are extras in their own movie. I pulled out a few slides here that sort of describe the ones who do and don't know where they're going. And you have to ask yourself, what do you really want? Well, I think most people want time and money freedom. There's absolutely no question about that. And to be able to shape your future, you have to be willing and able to change your paradigm. So believe is really the key word here. Now, if we're going to believe, I think we've got to go back and take a look at what Toffler said. You've got to learn, unlearn, and relearn. I started out in 1961 when I was 26 with this book. And I'm going to tell you, as I got into it and as the years passed and everything started to move faster, I had to unlearn and I had to relearn. And I'm continually doing that. And I'm convinced that that's what we're going to have to do for the rest of our life. Now, T. E. Lawrence, the, the, first of all, Lawrence of Arabia was a favorite movie of mine. T. E. Lawrence was a... Um, he was a, an officer in the, British, uh, in the British Army. And he was sent off to Africa to fight in the African War. Now, I want you to look at what he says, because I think this is so good. Everyone dreams, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the day to find it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are powerful dreamers, for they may act their dreams with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. But you see, 
that's what we're recommending. That's what we talk about in this master class. We want you to dream with open eyes. Not when you're sleeping at night, where he said when you wake to find it was all vanity. But we want you to, with your eyes wide open, and stop and look at the world we're a part of. I mean, it is truly fascinating world. You may already know about Bob Proctor's rags to riches story. This was one guy going nowhere until he made one decision that teleported his life. The change was so enormous, so light speed whipsaw crazy, that he's devoted his entire life to teaching millions of people how to do the same. For 60 years, Bob Proctor has been dreaming of gigantic goals that initially, even to him, looked unattainable in a galaxy far, far away. But he always found a way to navigate to those points of twinkling light, casting the darkness out of his life. How has he always found his way? I don't mean his paradigm shifting in a general sense taught from the front of the room. I mean, how did he find his way? Conquering old habits, distancing from his old life, moments of frustration, moments of new direction, goal achieving, exaltation, and what he did next, practice steps, missteps, and jangled senses, questioning, analyzing, changing course, lousy times, failure times, and I can't even go on any more times. Because even a Jedi Master can have a bad day. Haven't you wondered how Bob became Bob? Just imagine what his personal lessons can do for the you you're becoming. Introducing the first ever master class with Bob Proctor. Study personally with Bob from his book, You Were Born Rich. Chat with him, ask the burning questions, clear away the confusions, conquer the bad days, think like the master, and go, go, go. Your light speed is just one decision away. I hope you enjoyed this video. We put a lot of good information up here and it causes everything in your life to get better. If you'd like us to notify you every time we put a new video up, hit subscribe and then turn on notification. Check out all our videos and we will notify you when we put a new one up.